セットチャンスを増やして勝っていきたいところですまたもう一つ私にとって大きな注目ポイントは本日の皆さん The Sun and New Phoenix are gearing up for the playoffs of what they call here in the B League the championship and they know if they want to win the title they have to be in good form and that starts right here right now against Yokohama The Sun and New Phoenix have won their last five games but more importantly they want to be able to stay in top form because the playoffs are right around the corner. Welcome to the Yokohama Buntai, the new arena for Yokohama. And again, we're packed and why not? For the fans of both these squads, it's still a big encounter, especially here for the Yokohama fans. They know San En is one of the top teams in the league. Not an empty seat in the house as we take a look at the team standings. This is a battle in the Central Conference. 42 and 10 is the record of the San Neo Phoenix. 22 and 30 for the squad of Yokohama. They're out of it. They can't do more damage here this season except play the spoilers role. These two squads faced each other yesterday. It was a heck of a game. The San Neo Phoenix won that one, 90 to 82. They're putting up a real fight here with the B Corsairs in front of their fans. They try to stay as competitive as they possibly could, but at the end of the day, Hosokawa was one of the main winners. So San Neo Phoenix there with Rudy Ravenna, who has had a tremendous season. Scoring, Devin Oliver scores there as well. But if you look at the contribution of Kazuki Hosokawa yesterday, he had 14 points. They were led by Yante Matten's 19 points. Cody Clark had 16, but that is expected. You see that nice pass from Sota Ora. He had 14 points, 10 assists for the starting point guard. The usual starting point guard. Ryosei Sasaki, after that injury, has been supplanted here. And Sota Ora has done so well in his spot. There's Ora, finding another open Cody Clark, and Clark will miss fire, but there's Yante Matten once again for the putback. Yuki Kawamura, one of the main big stars of Japanese basketball, will be here once again try to lead his squad to a victory. Kai Soto had a tremendous game yesterday with 23 points, 9 rebounds, 1 block, and 1 assist. These are the comparative stats from yesterday's affair. From 2-point distance, just about even. From 3-point distance, also just about even. Even the free throw numbers, almost identical. And that's why it was a very close affair. Take a look at the squad of coach Atsushi Ono. Piri Ravenna, number zero. With Vital Cause together with number one Yante Matin and number four Cody Clark. Another one of their imports, of course, is number 23, David Dudzinski. Unfortunately for them, there is no Ryosei Sasaki. That's quite surprising. No youngster also in Kenny Asano, a 6'5", 21-year-old who has shown flashes of brilliance, but he's not going to be expected to do anything during the playoffs. So I guess not listed here today as we have the starting five for the visitors. Starting out with number 0, 30 Ravenna, number 1, Yante Maten, number 4, Cody Clark, the three that we talked about. We also talked about Sota Ora, number 5, with his tremendous 10 assists yesterday. And the gentleman who also was one of the top scorers in Hosokawa will be part of that starting unit. There's Coach Ono. He has brought a winning tradition here to the squad of Sanen. And they want to finish this season strong because bigger games are just right around the bend. And now we've got the introduction to the Yokohama B Corsairs.
As they say, it's a new voyage here as we take a look at the lineup. Three players. Two players. Number one, Jairu Tokos, not been in good form. Of course, we have number five, Yuki Kawamura. Kai Soto, number 11. Number the imports, Devin Oliver, number 15, the only consistent individual there because even Josh Scott, if you look at his numbers yesterday, zero points, seven boards, and one assist. They're going to need a whole lot more from their imports if they want to be able to not just win here today, but create a lot of waves in the seasons to come. Starting five, number one, Jared Dupont, their main man, Yuki Kawamura. Number five, Kai Soto is also there. Devin Oliver. And rounding up their starting unit is number 30. That is Koya Sudo. Sudo had very good numbers yesterday. 18 points. He scored one board and one steal. But they're going to need his scoring once again here. Can he deliver? We'll find out. Devin Oliver there. Gonna pump up his squad. As we take a look at Coach Taketo Aoki. Our referees for this Sunday afternoon, referee Kato, referee Kume, and referee Hashimoto. Some fanfare first before we begin. Checking the starters once again. Uto, Kawamura, Soto, Oliver, and Sudo for the home squad. For the visitors, they've got Ravenna, Matten, Clark, Ora, and Hosokawa. We have set the stage for another great matchup here this Sunday. Not used to seeing the squad of Yokohama in red jerseys, usually in their blues. They say today is a Sunday. We're gonna come out with our sparkling red jerseys. And we're seeing red here. We want blood. We want the victory. And then usually in red, the hereaway jerseys are white. White with a splash of red. Tip -off. Tip off is set at 110, and that is exactly where we are. Ora, coming off a double double yesterday. They go inside, nice seal. Matten will blow that layup. He will continue to battle, but the lose possession. Here's Kai. Omura will try to set up his big man as he usually does. We'll get it back. Two man game with Kai. They go inside. Kai Soto delivers. They want to get their big man involved early, just like what they did yesterday. Huge 23 points for Kai Soto to go with nine rebounds. And the loss, unfortunately. Thirdy Ravenna says, let me get my first two points. Slashing to the basket. Getting past Kawamura. There's no way Kawamura can stop him when Thirdy gets airborne. First personal foul going to be called on Yuki. It's going to be the first lead here of the Neo Phoenix at 3 2. Really 
say it's a breakout season here for 30, but his numbers here have been exceptional. Fudo will miss fire. Nice rebound by 30. He's helped out in all departments. Osokawa will stop up and come up short. Here's Devin. That's too easy. Now one point lead here for Yokohama. Cody Clark will fire early. There was no chance for an offensive rebound there. His teammates were not yet in position. That's how confident Cody is though in his shot. Kawamura tries to sneak it in and does. 6-3 now is our early tally. Finds Cody. Cody will launch. He'll swish that one, but we're gonna say there was an infraction prior to that. He's gonna call an offensive foul there, Nianke Martin. Now find that three. You can see just what a tremendous shooter. Cody Clark is. Jared Uthoff has been off his game. If he can get back to the form that he had at the first month of this season, it will be a tremendous boost. Not to mention the fact that they can really do a lot of damage in the future. Oh, is going to get away. Getting that lead down to one. And look for Jared once again. He will try to go inside, kiss it off the glass. He had the option of handing it over to Kai Soto as well. He's on the board. If you just look at the possibilities of what can really happen for this squad. With a healthy Kai Soto, with Yuki Kawamura. Kawamura says, Why did you stop the play? Well, there was a foul. Let's see. There wasn't really much there. Kawamura was saying, should have allowed us to get into the open court. Inside, Kai saw a quick turn. Yes. Kai has improved on that catch and shoot inside the shaded area. He's got four points. Now a five-point lead, 10-5. Ora, looking for space. They put one up, and he is definitely in great form. Really substitution here. As David Dukinski is about to check in. A little bit surprised about that. Because Matthew and Cody Clark has hardly broke a sweat. Kawamura. We find Jared. Ufaf kicks it back out. Kawamura. Three, not gonna work. That would have been an easy put back there for Devin Oliver, but that's not gonna be credited as a steal. The 30 Ravenna definitely helped out there. Last minute instructions from Coach Ono to Hosokawa. So Budzinski's in. It's Matin is out. Not a good pass. Foul's gonna be called there in Hosokawa. Not wanting to give up. Easy shot. Thirty. Got caught in no man's land. Kicked it back out. Fudo try to take advantage. He's got two free throws coming up here. First personal foul going to be called on Hosokawa. Fudo converts. Back up to a four point lead here. Koya has been an integral part of this B Corsair squad. They add a few more pieces. They can be a real threat in the future. 
That Mark and Jeff combination already. Kawamura and Kai. Yielding a lot of dividends late here in the season. Not more when they played together for the entire season. Extra pass, 30 left open for three. Can't connect in that one. Kawamura pushes it forward. Nice find, Uthoff. Big timeout going to be called here by Coach Ono. Things are starting to get out of hand early on. Quick hit there from David Dudzinski. Exactly what you want to see coming off a timeout for Coach Ono. Cutting that lead down to four. David gets possession here. Clark trying to push. Dudzinski sets up for three. Ooh. That will be an offensive foul called here in Aura. Dudzinski can't believe it. It would be nice to see that again. a real tough player. He likes to body up on the opponents that time. And also foul is going to be foul number two. And without Ryoshi Sasaki in this ball game available for today. That is huge. Yamauchi will play major minutes now. Both off inside will come up short. Tries to save it. Go to Yamauchi. We go to the wing. Hosokawa. No hesitation. Bang. he does catches and shoots and he's got a very good percentage from there Oliver two man game this time with Kai Katie got in his face puts up a hurried three that's short Dudzinski with the rebound and here comes Yamauchi Yamauchi finds Dudzinski another three not that time for the New York Phoenix. Oliver pushes it up high. Kai Soto delivers. Kai is a big man that is very mobile. He runs the floor so well. And he gets the easy basket there. Clark. Right. He'll get it back. Puts up a long one and hits. He's got that range. He's got that low go three in his bag of tricks. First tie we have here at 15. That's the pass to the wing. Not going to drop. Kai taps it to a teammate. Keeping it alive. The fans love it. Oliver. Will overshoot. Dudzinski clears this time. Dudzinski. A lot of emotion there.
he felt he got clipped on the chin there by Kai. It'll be nice to see that again. Let's see if the referees review this. So a foul is going to be called on Kai Soto. That's clear. Are they going to review the foul to see if there was contact above the shoulders? Yes, there will be a review here. Let's watch it. There was the rebound. There was nothing excessive there. That's just going to be a regular foul. It should be. I think it's going to be a quick review. During live play, I didn't see anything excessive already. Even more when taking a look at that replay. Guys pointing up to the big screen and saying, Look, watch. What did I do? He got the inside track, he got the rebound, I let him go. And the referees still wanted to review this. They will have more angles than what we had. But I don't think from any other angle you can see anything untoward. This is the play once again. They were just really close to each other. After seeing that replay, Dudzinski is going to realize much ado about nothing. Explanation first to the table officials, then we're going to have the call. Just a regular foul. It doesn't seem like there's anything more, is there? So now finally back to the action. 317 still to be played. Kai Soto picks up his first personal foul. Now let's play ball. And then she's trying to look for space once again. Passes the wrong individual, Uthoff, in the open court. Lays it through. That's the second time Sanen has attacked the basket, chopped out, and passed it on to a wrong individual. Cody Clark is going to be fouled there by Jared. Uthoff is having a pretty good game for himself to start things off. He's already here with six points. He also has one rebound, one assist. In yesterday's affair, he finished with four points. He did have seven rebounds, though. Nice look inside, Cody Clark. Spots the team here in the wing. Can't knock it down, though. It's Tatsumi Yu. Look at Kawamura. Slicing to the defense, using his speed, scoring once again. Osokawa. Got to get it inside to Dzinski. That's just too tight of a pass. Kai King is checking in for the first time. Kai King also an integral part here 
of the squad for Yokohama moving forward. Matthew Matthew will now check in. That has been the regular substitution pattern, but instead of sending Cody Clark to the bench to give him his rest, it's Dudzinski. That's surprising. Cody Clark has not yet been lifted. Clark will get it inside. Diante. More an inside operator. He'll get it once again. He's the double. And he bullies his way through. That was against Josh Scott. He just made his first entry. Scott is no pushover inside that shaded area. That was a tough basket. Kawamura again gets away against the much taller Tatsumi Yu. He the score once again. Nothing sets that pick. We'll get inside. Looked like a pretty good strategy there for Oliver. He pulled the chair. But you normally pull the chair when you have your opponent with his back to you. Oliver back up. Nothing just brought it in and laid it through. Here's Kai King. That's away for two. Not exactly exemplary defense. Cody Clark from deep, a little bit too strong. Kawamura with his first rebound. He does have three assists, also four points. Yuki again gets away. Extra pass, Kai King wasn't able to hold on to it. It should have been an easy catch and shoot. Kai King, it's a great on his own and misfire. Looking for two for one at the sign of Neil Phoenix. We want to set something up. And properly. It's the pass. Matten launches. No. We're going to go for the last shot here, that's for sure. Sign of Neil Phoenix out of fouls. Kawamura up against Clark. That's a very poor foul. First of all, Cody Clark is not going to be able to steal the ball from Yuki Kawamura. And at the same time, your squad's in penalties. Makes that first free throw. 2.8 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Kawamura trying to equal the largest lead in the ball game for his squad. Knocks that one down. Some last minute substitutions here. Because they do have one foul to give. Maybe not sure if you want to give it unless you really have to. Now you might have to. Diante Matin just turned around, scored. That'll count. The moment he caught it, he was in the danger zone. He should have gotten the foul. Well, they're not going to call a foul. Watch it once again. That's a perfect pass there. That's where the foul should have happened. Don't allow him to turn. That was against extreme pressure, a double team. We're still confirming if it will count, but it should, it does. And so the first quarter ends with a four point lead for Yokohama, 25 to 21. Thank you. 
Second quarter underway here. A very good start for the Yokohama Beaker Sears. As far as they're concerned, this is their championship game. They want to knock off the conference leaders. Early foul going to be called there, Morii. It should be just a side court inbound, but Hosokawa's heading to the line. Fire was there it was well before that gather. But they will give him the free throws. First drops. Get a squad to the two. No doubt about that one. Hosoka was one of the best free throw shooters in the league. These are the minutes. We're in the Yokohama Biko Shares. So it's got to be very careful where they don't have Kawamura on the floor. Figura. We go inside to Josh. Scott. We give it up. Kai King with the layup. No. Security will bring it down. That's a nice entry pass there. Basket and one opportunity for Yante Matin. Look at this pass on the dime. All Matin had to do was just take one dribble, go up strong for the basket. Now it's going to be called on Scott, his first. Matin trying to break this deadlock. Can't do it. We are tied at 25. The team is about to be led once by 1.32. One They've been failing or been tied most of the way. To Giura. With a sidestepping move, he can't flip it through. We find 30 once again. Early C, Sugiura will have to foul. That's going to be the third team foul here. The first on Sugiura. He could have actually just stood his ground and waited for the double team. But with a quick foul, he's going to be replaced. There's the double coming already. Just a minute and a half gone, already team, three team fouls. Nice turn there by Yante Matin. And now they're gonna need some adjustments defensively. And that's why coach Taketo calls this ceasefire.
Muri is still at the controls here for his squad as Yuki Kawamura is on the bench getting his usual rest. Nice find, stopped with a floater. A little bit too sharp. Here he gets another rebound. Here comes Sotaora. Attacking, kicks it out. Hosokawa catch and shoot. Bang! Eight points now for Hosokawa. Now five point advantage enjoyed here by the Neo Phoenix. This game. And give it back to Sota. Sota tried to float it through, gets denied. That was Josh Scott in his face. And Josh says, I think you forget I'm one of the top shot blockers here in the B League. Good look there at Josh Scott. Matten gets away. He's a handful, talking about Yante Matin. And especially against a local. So Sudo's gonna take his first personal. Sudo is six foot one. Yante Matin is six foot seven. Matin converts on that three point play. And the lead's now eight. Might be a very long second period. Still 7.19 to go. The two Corsairs already in the penalty. And down by eight. We finish a major move here in the second canto. Aura will put up a three and hit. Timeout will have to be called once again by Yokohama. They've now fallen in a real deep hole. No change yet in the lineup here from Coach Takato. And go inside. Quick hit there by Sugiura. Actually, that's Nishino. Let's find inside. 30 Ravenna with a quick hit. He's got two baskets. Extends that lead back up here to 11. 
but there was a change. Yuki Kawamura will check in, which is expected. That's what I thought to happen, but quick hit once again inside by the youngster, Nishino. He's got four points. Ora felt the bump, threw it up, and the referees agreed. But this might not be a shooting free throw. It was a foul down low. Kawamura picks up foul number two. Their squad is in the penalty. Check that. So that will mean free throws here. I'm not exactly sure what the officials are trying to review. Still trying to figure out what the referees are trying to look at at the replay center. But anyway, they say back to the action and Sota Ora now on the line for two shots of that second personal foul from Yuki Kawamura. And Simon will wisely try to go to the line every single time. This is smart team. Well coached. Oh, they're going to give him three free throws. That's what they were looking at. He got fouled. But it didn't look like he was in the act of shooting though. But they say otherwise. So he got fouled outside and he'll promptly miss the third. Still an 11 point lead enjoyed by the visiting squad. We toss back. I saw that he's in as well. We toss will take a long one, come up short. That from Sugiura is not going to get to a teammate. Mata will try to come closer. Ora inside. Last minute, changed his mind. 30, picked it up. Couple of fakes from 30, threw it up and it went through. He was asking for a foul, none given. Well, he still get the two points. Now with six points, is Ravenna actually checked at seven points. Quick hit. That will bring things closer. Dudzinski will misfire on that three. This inside to his teammate, but Nishino can't convert. Yamauchi left wide open. Bang! People forget Yamauchi is a gunner. Drains that three. Extends the lead to 14 as we get to this official timeout.
Yokohama needs a big finishing kick here to end the half. A foul is going to be called. And Mr. says thank you very much. We're already staring at the 14-point deficit. Not too much contact there for Mosokawa. He'll pick up his second though. He's off on the line with six points. He stays at six. He also has two boards and one assist. Coach Taketo surveying the situation. Ooh, two big misses here for Muthoff. Keeps the deficit at 14. We get it inside to Yante. And falling away will come up short. Scott with the rebound. Only one team foul for the San Emilio Phoenix here in the second period. Ukov will launch from three. Yes! He really needs to start heating up from the outside. He's got nine points. Almost a steal. It's completed there by Nishino. Six point screen. Why not? Back-to-back -back threes here for Jared Utov. And the B Corsairs are right back in this one. Let's see what play coach owner diagrams here. Found the office timeout. Sets up Hosokawa. Hosokawa can't create. But Yante will get it to Clark. He just checked back in, fresh off the bench. 30 straight line drive. Yes! 30 to Ven, a powerful move. And a free throw to boot. He lost the ball a while ago to Nishino. He wanted to tell everybody, I'm going to make up for it. And he did. Second personal foul going to be called on Jared. Three throws going to rim out there. Stay here with the San Emilio Phoenix. 3.25, still to be played in the first half. Boyasido, back in the ball game. 
Cody Clark, catch and shoot, no. Another offensive rebound here for the boys in white. And they make it count, Matin. Basket and one there against Kai Soto. And that's what can help Kai Soto if he starts to bulk up. As you see, Yante Matin just moved him. He says, get out of my way. Not just once, but twice. And then shoots over him. But Kai Soto will improve with age. Only 21 years old. Matin converts. Nice swing to the back inside. And Kai converts. That's his third bucket. 30 though is going to get away. He leaked out. His teammates found him. And he scored. Lead is back up to 13. They go inside. Kai Soto once again. Can't convert. Cody Clark comes away with it. Not a good foul by Nishino. That's two more free throws coming the way of the Neo Phoenix. That's lack of recognition from the youngster. He's got to realize that you cannot give up a foul that far away. Kevin Oliver checks back in. But his squad still down by 13. Could be more with these free throws coming up here for Cody Clark. Clark knocks down the first. That ties the biggest lead at 14. He's going to make both. It is now 54 to 39. Alamora backing up a little bit, looking for space. Goes inside, big man easily scores. Isoto with his first slam here today. A 13 point lead here, enjoyed by the boys in white. And they've got possession. Yamauchi will stop, pop and hit. It's now a 16 point advantage. Getting away quickly is Devin Oliver. Quick hit. And a nice smile to boot. We gotta start playing some defense though. We can't play baskets even if it's still in the first half. Curdy gets away, why not? He has been manhandling the defense of Jared Utov. He's now with 13 points. Awamura is going to get fouled. Second personal foul going to be called on Clark. Both his fouls have been on Kawamura. You can't stick that close. Kawamura is cat quick. Chikara Tanaka is checking in here for the Beakers here. Another one of the Youth Brigade. Bang! Well, he says, you don't want to guard me? I can shoot. He's listed at 6 foot 2. Only 21 years of age. He's going to cut that lead down to 13. Budzinski against Utah. They set up 30. Really can't hit from there. And there are a minute to be played here in the second. Oliver goes inside. It's a foul on the floor. 
But a smart move there from Kai to just quickly turn. Third personal foul on Hosokawa. Yu comes back in. So they're going to give Kai two free throws. And he's just shown that he's a big man that can hit those important free throws. Forty-eight. Final thirty-four seconds. And then she finally picks it up. Clock starts. Mauchi inside. We bring it back out. We don't want to pack too early. Asking for the double. The pass. Gets away there from you and Yamauchi took his eye off the ball. What is he thinking there? Chance. For the Biko shares to come closer. Sanen has a foul to give. Doesn't seem like they're going to use it. Amauchi does, and that is definitely on the floor. 2.5. Both teams in the penalty. Smart foul from Yamauchi. Where does Yokohama go here? He might go to Uthoff, why not? Uthoff. They go inside, they're going to call a foul. This is one of those imports that can drain the three, but can also drive it strong to the basket. He drove it there. They're just going to try to get confirmation that the foul came before the shot expired. The game clock, actually. There was a the foul. Clearly, two free throws should be given here to Jared. Should be a quick review. Jared, we try to bring it closer here. So the game clock has actually expired. Well, now they're saying that we're going to add 0.9 after that first personal foul called on you. We'll make both. Let's see if there's going to be one more heave left for Cody Clark. Utoff making it tough. Budzinski with a behind the back dribble. That will definitely not count. The B Corsairs needed a strong finish. They got it. But they still trail at the halftime break.
Anytime you're ready, ladies. All right. It's the B Rose Halftime Show. Headspin Masters のパフォーマンスです。フィッシャーズのザカオが率いるブレイキンの大技ヘッドスピンを磨き抜いたチームです。ヘッドスピンのみで構成構成されるショーケースは世界でも唯一無二。メンバーのそれぞれが世界レベルのヘッドスピナーであり、ブレイキンの世界大会、Battle of the Year で世界一を獲得した一撃のリーダー、シンを筆頭に、各メンバーが UK B Boy Championships や Old School Night。レッドボール BC1 パワーブーパネルなどの日本大会を制しており名実ともに日本一のヘッドスピンチームですまた YouTube の登録,登録者数が日本一多いチームとしても知られていますそれでは行ってみましょう Let's go!
Thank you, Head Spin Masters, everyone. Aratame te okina hakushu o kui kudasai. Iya, sugoi desu ne, maaru maaru. Moichi no okina hakushu o kui kudasai. Mechakcha kakkoi, arigatou gozaimashita. Sugoise bonbon moeri naka maatte mashita. さあというわけで改めましてアリーナ MC のミッキーです今日の試合も盛り上がってますねということでこの時間はですね、えー、横浜 F ・マリノスの長戸克也選手に再び登場していただきましょうお願いいたします皆さん大きな拍手をお送りください長戸克也選手よろしくお願いしますさあありがとうございますというわけでちょっとお話を伺おうと思うんですけれども、はい、長門選手実はバスケファンだということをそうですねはいプライベートで B リーグ2回ぐらい見に行ったことありますあそうなんですねどうですかここ横浜のこの舞台のでの試合今日の試合はまず,まず試合ですかはい,いや後半期待してます後半に期待してます<笑>いいですね、はい、結構ね西野選手だったりとかもう熱くなってあのラストギリギリのところまで戦ってこの点数差になってますからねはい、はい、後半にも期待ということでそしてこの横浜分隊のアリーナもちろん初めてですよねいかがですかこの雰囲気とかいやめちゃくちゃまず綺麗ですし、はい、こうホームの一体感が出る会場だなと思って見させてもらいましたありがとうございますそしてねあのたくさんあのファンの方々がですね、こうあのユニフォーム掲げてくれています。ね嬉しいです、ね。嬉しい、ね。さあ特になんかここのアリーナの演出で気になったすごい人かと思ったところってあります？すごいと思いますか？まあ、モニターがもうこのデカさが一番。あ我々映ってますよ。大きいですよね。これね,ね確か9対48なんです。はい、あ。ミスタンスタジアムよりデカくてびっくりします。ねえ。さっきですね、実は走りメロスが全部映ってたんですよ、最後まで。見ました。プレッシャーはすごいなと思って。<笑>はい、あの、というわけで、後半もぜひ楽しんでいただきたいんですけれども。はい、えー、で、あの、中野選手も、えー、我々お知らせがあるということで。はい。はい、えっ、ー、と、6月15日に。はい、ええー、アイラブ横浜マッチということで、えっ、ー、と、町田ゼルビアと試合があって。ええー。僕たちもスペシャルユニフォームを着て試合するんで、えー、ぜひミスタースタジアムに来て応援していただけたらなと思ってますありがとうございます6月15日ありがとうございます横浜 F ・マリノスのホームゲーム「アイラブ横浜マッチ」ということで、えー、その日も皆さんスペシャルユニフォームを身にまとってと、はい、あの黒いのを着てあこちらありますね、はい、かっこいいですねシックで16時キックオフね、ということで、非常にあの中野選手のタオルも掲げられてますよ。ね、えー、じゃ、皆さんぜひ応援していきましょう。えー、というわけでですね、後半に向けても、ええー、ぜひよろしくお願いします。ありがとうございました。以上、長野選手でした。皆さん、大きな拍手をお送りください。それではここで横浜ビーコンシェアーズをご支援いただいておりますトップパートナーをご紹介させていただきますトップパートナーは王は上木トヨタ神奈川B リーグトップパートナーはソフトバンク B リーグパートナーズは富士通日本郵便 G ショック日本生命 B リーグサポーティングカンパニーズは朝日新聞日本経済新聞社大塚製薬野村工芸社 EYJAPAN ヤフーエニタイムフィットネス
パーシャルデザイン B リーグサプライヤーズはモルテンアダストリア B リーグエンターテインメントパートナーはソニーミュージックエンターテインメント B リーグコミュニケーションパートナーは LINEB リーグスポーツ振興パートナーはスポーツくじウィナー以上 B リーグパートナーズのご紹介でした。We've seen some of the highlights here of this battle between the Yokohama Beakersairs and the squad of the San Antonio Phoenix to lead the Central Conference. Omura, as always, using his speed. You gotta meet him high at the basket, especially if you're an import. Martin wisely gets to the cup. First quarter ended in favor of Yokohama. 25 to 21. Ora knocks down that three. Aomura looks inside. Hoshino came off the bench and hit two big baskets. Asking for a foul here, but was able to make the shot nonetheless. Thirty would finish the first two periods with 13 points, five rebounds, and three assists. That's just in two quarters of play. Mate scores off Kai Soto. Kai with a big slam. That's a perfect assist from Yuki Kawamura. That's going to bring us to this tally. 59 of 50 in favor of the visitors. As we break down the numbers, 84 shooting from two-point distance. So they had one less field goal, if you look at it, in terms of three-point distance. Shooting much better also than their opponents. The Yokohama B Corsairs always take very good care of that basketball. Look at that. Only two turnovers for their squad as compared to seven for the Neo Phoenix. Ten and three. Those are the points of turnovers. 34 to 30. Those are the points in the paint. Just about even. Eight to nothing. Second chance points. That was one-way traffic in favor of the Neo Phoenix. As we take a look at... The leaders in their respective categories. 14 points for Uthoff, 16 there for Yante Matin. Five boards also for Jared. Five rebounds on the other hand lead the San Daniel Phoenix courtesy of 30 Ravenna. In the dimes department, already 10 assists for Yuki Kawamura. After just two minutes of play, uh, two quarters of play, and he actually didn't play the first couple of minutes of the second period. And six assists for Sota Ora, who finished yesterday's game with 10, and now almost there with six.
Four numbers. 13 points for 30 Ravenna. Oras got 9 points. 12 points for Kai Soto. Game double digits for the big man. And Kawamura's got 8. San and New Phoenix will not be caught anymore here in the Central Conference, but again, more than anything else, Coach Ono is professing that he wants them to be in good form. He wants everybody to be healthy as well, heading into the playoffs, which begin next month. There are the scoring leaders. We saw Uto with 14, Soto with 12, Kawamura with 8, 6 for Nishino, and 4 for Devin Oliver. You can see that four points for Devin Oliver. He's gonna need to be able to bring up that tally if he wants his squad to be competitive here in the second half. On the flip side, Matin's got 16, Ravenna with 13, Otto with 9, and then 8 for Hosokawa, and Yamauchi has 6 coming off the bench. Top four scorers, as you can see there. We're part of the starting five. Cody Clark, not among the scoring leaders. He does have five points. Usually he's up there. At this point, he doesn't really need to score. His team's up comfortably. And he has found his range. He actually hit one deep three earlier. As we begin the second half. Going inside the paint, and Sota Oro will quickly score. That's gonna bring his total to double digits. That's 11. Steal. They're not gonna force the issue, or will they? Why not a long three there? That's gonna drop there for Clark. 30, picking up Jared High. I will give it back to Devin. Devin back to this big man. Sort of falling away. That's not his strength. Fourteen seconds. Still in the shot clock here. Let's get up the shot from Kai Soto. Oliver. Quick trigger. Kotov will get it back. And in the third attempt, he will score two points. Jai Dutov now with 16 points. These are the numbers he put up early in the season. Look at his contribution yesterday. He only had four points. Took over the seven rebounds and three assists. Nothing. Pass deflected. As Clark launches a three, comes up short. He talked with the handoff. Clark's going to be called in 30 there. Back one in a quick basket from Oliver. 30 picks up his second personal. We check that at first. Kawamura, Utah. Will bring it closer. Finishes strong. That cuts the lead down to seven. Here come the Duke Corsairs. These two squads faced each other yesterday, and the New Phoenix won that one by eight, 90 to 82. Clark flips it through. 
gets the lead back to nine. Now he's starting to make his move. Starts to make his presence felt. Yuki to his big man. Nice Soto hits. Hard to be able to block Kai Soto. He holds his shot so high. And he's already seven foot three. Sota throws it up, not going to drop. Vico has got to stop. And here they are with possession. Soto gathers, flips it up and through. I saw it. another solid outing here for the youngster. They kick it high. They have to kick it high off the glass because Sky Soto was there for the block shot. Devin Oliver will score. And a foul to boot there from Yante Matin. And the lead's down to three. Could be two. He hit his import in stride. And the import says thank you very much. Timeout will be called here by coach Atsushi Ono. Converting that free throw, cutting that lead down to just a single basket. Yante Matin throws that up. It won't help. Ora. In the back, gets space. That's a nice dish. And the foul will be called here. Let's watch that again. Well, Kai Soto try to get back into the picture. And that slight nudge will be called. Third personal foul on Kai Soto. That's when Kai's got to realize. He just let it go. You cannot pick up your third. You're very important to your squad. Martin converts. 661 is our tally. Rico. And get forward. This is how I did his job. They set up Oliver. Up against 30. 30 with a nice tap. And they're trying to race forward. Foul's going to be called there. On Sudo. Second personal foul on Koya. Defense! 
two team fouls each squad. As they approach the six minute mark on the third. Ora has already added to his assist tally. He now has seven. That might be regarded as eight as Matin scores again from close range. Slowly building up that lead once again by the near Phoenix. A pass a little bit too strong there from Devin Oliver. Setting up for Sokawa, 30. He took another rebound. He's looking for an assist. Sota Ora gets away inside. Timeout will now have to be called by the B Corsairs. After getting that lead down to two, it's back up to nine. Put back there, but it's not going to drop. Still an 11 point lead here, enjoyed by the new Phoenix. 30. Trying to get closer. Feels he can take on Koya Sudo. Travel. Past the midway point of the third. Kai King will check in. The youngster that can shoot from deep. David Dudzinski back in order. As expected. With the San Antonio Phoenix. Together with that Tsuya Yu. Aramura just walks it down court. Then picks up steam. I think we'll have to get it back. Yuki for three? No. Ora. Has to go to you. But he was going to get fouled first by Nishino. That's a good matchup between these two young players. And we like the ball movement of the Neo Phoenix once again. Dudzinski set up for that one. We'll come up short. 
Scott with the rebound. He just re-entered. Scott needs to be able to help out a little bit more offensively. Nishino comes up short. But they're going to say he got fouled. That's going to be an Oskawa. It's going to be number four. They have the last line of defense. Wow. That shouldn't have been a foul. That was actually the offensive player, Nishino, extending his arm there. Foul will stick, no challenge. Nishino misses the first free throw though. 25 year old will need to be able to practice those shots. Especially in situations like this where you need to be able to come back. You need every single point. He's gonna miss both. He quickly sent it in front. 30, he loses footing. Hiking to the wing, Uthoff. Will be too strong on that attempt. And here comes Ora. Ora will kick it out, goes to Uthoff. Kawamura to the other side, that worked out. Pass is a little bit too strong, but in the end they get the points. And they trail just by nine. Under three minutes to be played here in the third. Ora will take this one and drain it. Lead is back up to 12. Nice look and Kai King can really sky and get up there. Put that one through. Another assist for Yuki. Kawamura already with 14 dimes. Brings it back out. Two man game. Puts that one up a little bit too strong. Kawamura will track it down. Let's see if that's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul. Watch what Yuki did. He turned around to make it look a little bit more damaging than it, would, than it actually was. Second foul in 30. And now that's why they're reviewing it. be just a regular foul after that reach in from 30 but again you see what Kamamura did he made sure that he turned his body around and that's why the referees are taking a look at it and it's gonna be an unsportsmanlike foul credit Kamamura for a bit of an acting job Kawamura He's not just talented, but he's also smart. The contact wasn't that excessive. In the end, it's going to be two free throws plus ball possession here. Could be another big swing in our matchup here this afternoon. If they score after these two free throws, they can bring it down quickly to six. in the penalty. He sent a quick double. That's a nice call there from Coach Ono. Surprising Kawamura. And he threw that one away. One of the few turnovers for Yokohama. They now have seven. 
Bend in the ball game here for the New York Phoenix. Nice look inside. You gets away. Perfect pass. Ora now with nine assists. Just one shy of his total output from yesterday. Stop. That's the pass. Yamauchi was there. The swarming defense done here by the Neo Phoenix. Denying any easy baskets. They get it inside. My King can't score. Yamauchi had his head turned. Almost paid the price. Pocket pass. And the foul will be called on Josh Scott. He found Yante Matin there with a head of steam. Plus the reach in there from Josh. Mori will check in. So a minute and a half of actually of actual game time. Is the rest gonna be given to Yuki? They might need him to start out in the fourth. 30 back in for the final minute and a half. Sugiura will check in as well. Sugiura used to play heavy minutes. But here, hardly seeing any playing time. Slick portions on the floor as we take care of that. Matin now on the line for two shots. This team already up by 10. You saw that release wasn't smooth. Hence the miss. Hence the smile. <laughs> The Beakers here trying to be as noisy as they possibly can here at the Yokohama Buntai. Doesn't phase Yante's second shot though. As he gets replaced by Cody Clark. Coach Ono has really shuffled his players well. to be able to make sure that he gives the maximum exposure that is coach Paqueto on the other side that's coach Ono but at the same time making sure that none of them get injured if you want it to be as razor sharp as they possibly can playoffs are in a bit Another lull here. There have been more than a few lulls here in this ball game. So he dragged on a little bit longer than usual. Maybe up against Yamauchi. And found Josh Scott. They'll go to the wing. Sugiura. His three gets rimmed out. Scott will bring it down. In no rush. Steal. Easy slam there for Jerry Lutoff. Within nine. 
Ortiz in the penalty. A little shot there. Morini will send his man to the line for two shots. So Yamauchi will troop to the line now. Fans have been very engaged here today. Kissing it off the glass there on that free throw. Work the second time. Lead back up to 10. Difference. A couple of seconds in the green clock and the shot clock. Well, then enough time here. They get it inside. We're going to lose it though. Clark didn't realize that the clock was winding down, so three quarters are over here at the Yokohama Buntai. It's a 10 point advantage still enjoyed by the Neo Phoenix. Welcome to the fourth and final quarter here at the Yokohama Buntai as the B Corsairs host the Neo Phoenix here this Sunday afternoon. First personal foul going to be called on David Dudzinski. Yokohama need to score here, especially without Kawamura on the floor for the first two minutes, possibly three of this final quarter. Jumper not going to work. Eddie Clark. 
taking his time. Yamauchi will find space. Kick it out to 30. 30 to a stronger right side. Kisses her off the glass. 30 Ravenna has been exceptional today. He's got 15 points. He has also contributed six rebounds, four assists, and he's been guarding the imports. Especially Jared Upoff. Now they're against Josh Scott. On the switch, almost got a steal. Devin Oliver, forced to put this one up. A little bit too strong. Dudzinski with the board. For space, this is Cody. Clark inside. Prayer not answered. Almost a steal there from Yamauchi. Oliver to the wing. To Gyura. No easy basket whatsoever here. Scott sends it to the other side. Sigura again with a miss. Kawamura's got to check back in. They're running out of time. And he's ready to enter the next dead ball situation. Looking inside, 30 scores. A timeout will have to be called here by Yokohama. They need to get reinforcements back in the ball game before this gets out of hand. Now with the starters inside. They definitely need to score here. Oliver flips it up. It's not going to drop. Eventually does. It's going to cut the lead down to 12. Still a mountain to climb here for the boys in red. Clark gets it off to Dijinsky. Sota Ora back in. David will score. No, he won't. That looked like it was going to drop. Kawamura. This pass almost deflected. Nice block there by you. Aura will launch. A little bit too strong. Not a good foul. There were no numbers. As you see this foul here. You just can't reach him. Hosokawa back in. He's playing on borrowed time though. He's got four personals. He needs to get a couple of shots to give his squad 
a slightly more comfortable lead before he calls it a day. He might have to hit the showers early. Tuesday will try to attack him defensively. The boys in white going into a 3-2 zone. Looks off with the jumper. That rims out. Tipped in though by Kai. Out and now with 18 points to go with five boards. Kawamura will foul Ora. Still remaining in this one. That's the pass, Cody Clark. Easy layup, and that's going to be assist number 10. Check that. Assist number 11 for Sota Ora. High King's pass stolen here. Ora will flip it. A nice tip, but it goes to Kawamura. And Kai King delivers on the other end. Wow. Pretty Ravenna triggered a fast break for the opponent there. Sota gets away. The flip short. Another early shot. Steal. Dante Martin was there. Took it away from 30. 30 loses it as well. That's a nice setup. Not taking any chances. It's Coach Ono. 25 seconds away from an official timeout. He will use one of his. Phoenix with possession up by eight. No time still remaining in this one. Matin and company knock it out of the woods. To take advantage of that screen and easy layup there for Yante. Watch it here. There was a slight nudge. Kawamura just gave him a slight body check. That's not going to bother Matin. He's back up to 10. Could be 11. Fourth personal foul for Yuki. I think kicks it out. Too tough. Kai finds Oliver. Up short. Now they're going to try to burn some clock. Next dead ball situation will have another timeout. 
Macklin puts it through. No, he's going to get fouled. Oliver disappointed. He couldn't get that board. There was a foul. Four thirty-nine to be played in this one, and an eleven-point lead enjoyed by the Neo Phoenix. Completing the three-point play is Yante Matin. They're going to give him two free throws. If you got fouled in the act of shooting, that should be a basket and one opportunity. Because there's a not getting penalty. Hmm. 77 is our tally. 435 remaining in this ball game. Team. So it's Kai to Kai and now with Yuki. Kawamura forces up a three. Tap goes to Utoff. Utoff inside. Tries to find his big man. Soto's first is going to rim out. These are badly needed free throws. Time is running out. And they're still trailing by 13. Third person foul going to be called in 30 there. Expecting the line will bring his squad closer, but they're still trailing by 12. Movement once again up high, and then Aura goes to the wing. 30 for three, short. Tap will go to Sota. We're going to use the entire 14 seconds once again, and rightly so. Aura has to get it down to his big man. Two seconds remaining in the shot clock. Butoff is saying, "Let's review." was right there so we're gonna have a head coach's challenge this is for possession
Not quite sure whose leg that hit. Initially, it looked like it was off Yante Matin. And after that replay, looks like we saw it right. Except for the officials. The officials thought that it is ball for the squad of Sanen. We're going to have to look at it from a different angle. That second angle didn't really convince anyone. They still are looking at things. If they can get this reversed, they're going to get possession. And they're going to need all the offensive possessions that they can get. Talking about Yokohama. To get back into this ball game. Coach Ayoki. There's Uthoff. He was the one right there. He didn't careen off his foot. But remember, Kai Soto was back there as well. That could have hit his leg. It came off quickly. They change the call. They win the challenge. And they'll get the possession. Now they gotta make it count. That is what matters. Because they're still trailing here. With a full launch and hit. That's gonna cut the lead down to nine. We're gonna have an exciting finish here. Cody will get it back. Tries to answer with a three of his own. That's going to miss fire. Ooh, was that put in? By Kai Soto. So they're going to give Yante Matin the points. Three is not going to work for Oliver. That was tipped last by Kai. Oh, they're going to say it wasn't touched last by Kai, so it's going to stay here. Lead is still 11, though. Under three minutes to be played. Yes, I was going to be called there, Niante Matin. Oh, and 30, they say. That's 30's fourth. It's off. They try to go inside with big man. Shot clock down to one. Kai will come up short. Okay. And now they say, let's burn some clock. Nice decision. Gets away from his man. Gets denied there by Utrecht though. Yuki finds Kai. Kai scores. 2.14 still to be played here. And Matin says, let me bring it down myself. And now in the twilight zone, the final two minutes. Aura will put up a short three. Oliver, he's going to get fouled there by 30. 30 is done. Thirty, number one, should have realized he's got four personal fouls. And secondly, he needs to realize that his squad is in the penalty. So you're giving Devin Oliver two easy shots and you've taken yourself out of the ball game. Not a 
a smart play that time from 30. Unless Oliver misses one of these two free throws. Then it might have been a smart foul. Is there going to be a substitute free throw? No, they say. So you might say that turns out to be a decent foul from 30. Only giving up one point there. Hosoka will be replaced by Yamauchi, a better ball handler. Eight point lead enjoyed by the Neo Phoenix. They're gonna use clock here once again, but make no mistake about it, they need to score. They can't let this just run out. Cody Clark gets away with the lefty. That's gonna bring the lead back up to 10. A timeout needed now here by the B Corsairs. This set play from Coach Ayoki has got to be a quick hit. We're running out of time. We go inside. Kai Soto with a slam. That worked out well. Now they got to play defense. Using some clock again. Are the boys in white. That's to their advantage. Matten inside, yes! Leads back up to 10. Time down to 70 seconds. Yokohama's gonna need another quick hit. That'll work. They'll get two free throws and the clock stops. Are they going to give him three free throws? The question is, was that in the act of shooting? If it was in the act of shooting, it's three free throws. If not, that second foul should just give two free throws as now they're going to check it. So they called it in the act of shooting. So that was in the act of shooting. That will be three free throws here.
We're going to need all these free throws. Just confirming the officials that he's going to be given three, so he's got two more. Now they're going to need one more stop. But again, the smart move here for Sanin is to wind down that clock. It's still a three possession ball game. It'll help out if they can get a steal. Get it inside the ankle. We're gonna try to milk this clock. Ooh, not the foul that they needed. That's gonna bring them into the penalty, not to mention another 14 seconds here for San to burn. Seconds ticking away. But Sokawa with a shot. No. Matin taps it to himself. It's tracked down by Ora. Another 14 seconds. Now they got a foul. They need to foul here or else this game's over. So Oliver with a duty foul. Now they got a hope that Sanin misses their free throws. They needed, they got the stop. They got the misses that they were hoping for, but they just couldn't clear the board. 31.5 seconds remaining here. It's still a three possession ball game as it stands, regardless of these two shots. Leads now at eight. Mr. Ono knows that essentially they're out of the woods. Barring a major miracle. Three point lead. Ufaf needs a quick hit. Ooh, a foul is going to be called there on Cody Clark. You want that clock to continue to run. Exactly 26 seconds remaining here. And we'll just hold on to this one after the inbound. Let's see if there's going to be a quick foul. But mathematically, not possible anymore. Almost a five second violation. And the foul's going to be called. That's going to be on Oliver once again. It's going to be number three, and we have two more shots coming up here for Sota. Tobumura back in. He couldn't afford the foul, but offensively, they're going to need him. Though this ball game's over. After this free throw here, that will make it a nine point lead. No timeout's going to be called. They just want to be able to score. 20 points in the contest here for Sota Ora. He can have another big double-double. Points and assists. 
It was off the score. Rifle it down court. Intercepted by Kawamura. Yuki for three. No. That's not going to work. And Yante Martin is going to dribble this one out. As the San Diego Phoenix take another victory here over Yokohama. That's your final score. 99 to 92. They duplicate their victory from yesterday. 90 to 82. Winning by 8. Today, winning by 7. San Diego picks up their 43rd victory here this season. The regular season is starting to wind down. Each squad plays 60 matches. So seven more games coming up here for the San Diego Phoenix before they look to bigger things, the playoffs. Don't go away because we're going to have an interview with Coach Atsushi Ono and some of the San Antonio Phoenix players as well. Some proceedings being done here at the Yokohama Buntai for the local squad, but we're sticking around because we want to hear from Coach Atsushi Ono of the winning San Enil Phoenix.勝ちました。3年のフェニックス大野敦司ヘッドコーチです。コーチ、昨日に続いてさらに怪我人が増え苦しいローテーションでしたが、見事勝利です。今の気持ちかしてください。そうですね、あの、勝ったことは良かったと
バンブースターに向けてメッセージお願いしますそうですねあのその時にあの支えていただいている皆さんにしっかりお礼が言えるようにあのセレモニーで表現したいと思いますアウェイテンの連勝でした大野ヘッドコーチですありがとうございましたありがとうございましたコーチ・オーノは、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、Uh, the game went really well.、Uh, I feel like we still could have played better. I think、uh, there's a higher、um, expectation for us to, for us to play.、Um, and we're still getting there, and we're trying to make sure that we're that team going into playoffs. えっと、自分たちも自分たちがもっとプレーでよくできると、えー、そういう期待もありますしプレーオフに向けてそこをしっかり合わせていきたいと思います。ヤンテ選手、今日のゲーム、これまで自身で持っていた B リーグでのキャリアハイ、29得点を更新して、今日31得点のキャリアハイです。終わってみていかがでしょうか。うんうんうん uh, I just want to say thank you Jesus for allowing me to be healthy、uh, and to get through the whole season.、Um, at first started off a little bumpy,、uh, but Coach has put faith in me, and my teammates put faith in me, and、uh, it turned out really well. So I'm just really happy that、uh, my teammates trust me, and the coach does as well. もちろんあの先にえっと今今シーズンはしっかりヘルシーであること自分が怪我なくいけてることに神に感謝したいと思うとともにあとはチームメイトとかヘッドコーチが自分がしっかり得点を取れるようなえことをえっとしっかり遂行してくれたりヘッドコーチがそういうことを書いてくれたりしているのでえっと本当にみんなに感謝したいと思います。ヤンツです次は水曜日に地区優勝を決めた後初めてホームのサインブースターと会えますメッセージお願いします、uh, Thank you to our fans You guys have done a tremendous job so far、uh, Please continue to support us as we're going into playoffs We're really going to need you now more than ever Thank you とファンの皆様今までもたくさんの応援ありがとうございますこ,これから、えー、プレーオフに向けて皆さんの力がもっともっと必要となりますので引き続き応援の方よろしくお願いいたしますありがとうございました勝ちましたサイエンネオフェニックスヤンテメイテ選手でしたありがとうございましたありがとうございます As you heard, the focus is really the playoffs. The next seven games, really just to stay sharp and to stay away from injuries because Sasaki, once again, was not available today. They need to be able to have everyone available come the playoffs.
Check out the highlights first. Before we crunch some numbers. Solid showing for Yante Matten. He had finished with 31 points, 12 rebounds. That's a double-double for him. Double-double also for Sota Ora. With 20 points, 11 assists. As Ora hit that three-pointer there. Uthoff drains that three there. Uthoff did so well today. He had 26 points, 9 rebounds. That is a great pickup game after what happened yesterday when he scored just 4 points. But Josh Scott again, not a factor today. He had 0 points yesterday, 0 points today. Yuki Kawamura did everything he possibly could. But it's 13 points and 19 assists were not enough. That's a monster game for Kawamura with 19 assists. He helped out rebounding as well. That's him there finding his big man, Kai Soto. Soto delivers. That was one of his 19 downs. Here he is once again. That's a perfect pass. First quarter ended in favor of Yokohama by 4, 25 to 21. In the second half, that is when Sam N made their move. A big second quarter. It was 38 to 25. 25 is actually pretty good, decent scoring for Yokohama. But they allowed Sam N to get 38 and that tilted the balance and that's why at the half it was 59 to 50 in favor now of the visitors in the third period it was virtually even with Sanen still winning that quarter by one 20 to 19 so they added to their lead heading into the fourth it was a 10-point affair. There's Ora racing down court. He'll miss. And this triggered a fast break for the other squad. Kai King, the recipient of another assist there from Yuki. Cody Clark picked his spots here. Look at that slam from Kai Soto. Two points, of course, which is going to go to Yante Matin. Another nice assist. Kai converts. Kai Soto will finish with 23 points and seven rebounds. But again, that effort will go for naught. As Yokohama will fall to another defeat as their record drops to 22 and 31. And here are the numbers we promised. 69% shooting for San En as compared to 62% shooting from the B Corsairs. Both teams didn't shoot that well from three. But still with the advantage there was San En 24% as compared to 19%. They both went to the line 24 times, shooting 75%. Wasanen, shooting 66%. Was Yokohama. In terms of taking care of the basketball, as expected, Yokohama always takes good care of the basketball. Only with 10 turnovers, 15 turnovers, to the San Enil Phoenix. But they were able to overcome that, and still, they came away with the victory. More numbers, as you can see there, 21 and 11. Those are the points of turnovers. 
More numbers to digest. 31 points for Matten in a winning effort. He also had 12 rebounds and 11 assists for Sota Ora. On the flip side, 26 points for Jared Uthoff. He also had nine boards. And there's those 19 big assists from Yuki Kawamura, who was still... All of that was not enough to get his squad the W. If you want to find out about more scoring leaders, Kai Soto would finish with 23. We talked about that. And Yuki Kawamura also would score 13. 20 points for Sota Ora and 17 for 30 Ravenna. Those are the numbers we just mentioned. In terms of rebounding, Oliver would finish with seven rebounds, the same amount as Kai Soto. And 30 Ravenna also helped out his squad with seven boards. Six rebounds also for David Dudzinski coming off the bench. And that's going to do it here for our coverage this Sunday afternoon. We'd like to thank all of you for joining us. Till next time, take care. Have a good week ahead. God bless.